Welcome to the reenactment of the Elders Memorial Lecture. This is a reenactment of the original Elders Memorial Lecture given at the AMS meeting at the University of Kentucky on March 27th. Since this is a memorial talk, please silence your cell phones. It's not nice to have a cell phone ringing during a funeral or even during a memorial service. Paul Elders was the greatest problem solver of all times. And he was even a greater problem poser. He was born on March 26, 1913, and died on September 20th, 1996. This is his picture drawn by Fan Chung. It's a water painting by Fan Chung. I stole it from her website, uh, and I thank Fan Chung for her photo. Paul Erdos was my hero, and many, many other people's hero. hero. And he loved mathematics for its own sake. And he loved problems. When he was 22 years old, after he just got his PhD from Hungary, he went to England and to Manchester. And he already started sending problems to the American Mathematical Monthly. So here's the problem, let me tell you. Given n plus 1 integers, a1, a2, up to a sub n plus 1, each less than or equal to 2n, if you spell it down, the beautiful problem, then a1, a2, a sub n plus 1, <coughs> between 1 and 2n. You have to prove that you have two of them that are divisible by each other. This is Paul Alvarez's first American mathematical monthly problem. And it's a distance. Alvarez offered money for problems. I'm offering one dollar for issues <laughs> and First, is it best possible? If I replace n plus 1 by n, is it true? Can you take n integers between 1 and 2n, such that none of them is divisible by other? So, 2 or 3. <laughs> yeah. And in general, uh, n plus 1, n plus 2, da da da, 2n. But if you have n plus 1 of them, then. Uh, then is no way. Anybody? So a solution came a year later by somebody called Martha Weisberger, and also from Hungary. And said, your solution is not hard, here it is. Oh, by the way, in Sloan, if you look, of course, if you replace n plus 1 by n, one way of avoiding divisibility is n plus 1, n plus 2, da da, to n. But there are many other ways. And this sequence tells you how many ways you can avoid uh, if you have <coughs> different ways. But here's a beautiful proof that the others had. Every integer n can be written <coughs> as a power of 2 times an odd integer. And let's put capital, uh, let's put in pigeonholes all the powers of 2, all the powers of 2 times 3, all the powers of 2 times 5, da, 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 all the powers of 2 times uh, 2 and minus 1. There are n pigeonholes, and there are n plus 1 pigeons. So two of them must reside on the same piece of hole. So not only are the two integers amongst 1 to 2n 
So they are divisible by each other. They are divisible by a power of two. Because yeah, all those uh, one times power of two, three times power of two, da da, up to two minus one times power of two. And if you have n plus one of them, you have n of them. And if you have n, n plus one, two of them must be young. So this is Erdős proof has to be young. So what's the restriction on k? Uh, no, no, k is that the general. Is that saying every integer? Uh, can be written at the power of 2, whatever, times m. Are we saying that every positive integer is even if that is the case? Every, no, that's odd. Doesn't matter. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. K could be zero. Oh, yeah. That's why I asked about it. Oh, sorry, sure. Okay. 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 okay, sure. The problem was not out of the blue. If you look at one of Alistair's first papers, with Paul Turan, it came from them. Ernest also loved geometry. And he was not a snob, he loved simple-minded problems in geometry. And in those days, people were not snotty. Mordell, one of the greatest number theorists of our century, did not think it beyond him to send a solution to the monthly of the simple-minded almost high school algebra, a uh, high school geometry problem, using very elementary tricks. So I admire these people. I don't think today a uh, famous number series would bother to send a solution to, at the time I was almost famous, he was only 22 years old, to such a problem. People love mathematics in those days for its own sake, regardless of what they did. So I really admire Erdős is also famous for the concept of Erdős number. There are more than 500 people with Erdős number one. Starting, the first one, the first collaborator was uh, Segeres, George Segeres. The second was Paul Turan, and my favorite collaborator was Joseph Gillis from 1937. Thanks to Joseph Gillis, I have eldest number two. And my eldest number two, I think, is more valuable than other people's eldest number two, because if you look at the collaborator, <laughs> And Joe Gillis was also a great, my mentor, he was my mentor, and he taught me how to solve problems. And even though he was two years older than Paul Elders, I believed that he was also a disciple of elders. And the love of problems was given by, uh, inherited from elders. Elders died in 1996. But it's not too late to get elders number one. If you go to the website of the elders number, maintained by uh, Grossman, you see the list of the people with elders number one is still 2010. Seven, as day of 2007, somebody for the first time got address number one. So you too can get address number one. <laughs> That's, uh, I just pay for and put address's name. And since he's no longer alive, he don't need his permission. <laughs> Here's the title of the paper that got me address number two. A beautiful paper by Joe Gillis and Paul Elders from 1937. Ironically, if you go to MessiNet and compute your eldest number, this will not show up. Uh, another speaker in this conference, uh, Bruce Resnick, has eldest number two, thanks to me. Way back in the 1980, I went to my then colleague, Bruce Resnick, and I told him, let's write a paper together. If you write a paper, and with Joe Gillis, with a paper that I wrote with Joe Gillis, a collaboration, and I asked Bruce Resnick to join us. And I told him a perk of uh, joining uh, the paper, the collaboration is, since Joe Gillis has eldest number one, he would automatically have eldest number two. And that was